What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi. I'm an NPC competitor turned wellness and this is my journey back to the stage. So today I have a pretty pretty big update for y'all because I know I have been MIA on YouTube for a little bit. I've been pretty active on my Instagram but the last couple weeks have been really really hard for me. Uh, Okay. The last couple of weeks have been really, really difficult for me and a lot has changed. So I need to fill y'all in on kind of what's been going on. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, probably about three weeks ago now, maybe four by the time I have this video uploaded. So there were some things that happened um, that impacted my decision that I had to make on finding a new coach. So I am with a new coach now, I'm with a new team, um, and eventually I will um, give more details and information about that, but it is kind of new. So just me and my new coach are kind of working out a lot of kinks of things that we need to figure out to be able to move forward. But, um, I am no longer with my old coach or my old team. Um, it was honestly a hard and easy decision at the same time. Um, there were some things that happened within the last couple of weeks that definitely pushed my decision to where it was. And I'm not really going to talk a lot about that because I don't believe in talking negatively about people on social media, you know, just because something didn't work out for me doesn't mean it's not gonna work out for somebody else. So by all means, I don't think he's a bad coach. I just don't think him and I were exactly aligned on the prep, I would say. Um, look, I, I coached myself by myself for five years and I understand that my body type is difficult it always has been um it's never been this difficult it's it's never taken this long for me to get myself stage ready so um i'm not really sure what is going on internally but i could just tell that something was off and we tried like compromising on certain things but it just ended up like not working out in the end and i understand that me as like a client and my body being the way it is, it can be very frustrating for a coach, um, especially a coach that's, you know, prepping themselves and stuff. So I just think through the process that we fell out of alignment as far as like coach client relationship, um, which is okay. I mean, that happens. People change coaches and this was my first time having a coach again so i didn't really know where to start or where to look but um you know i trusted him and i do think that we made some good progress together but i just needed a little bit more i needed somebody who fully aligned with me and my goals and really just understands my body type and can help me get to where i want to be so my new coach um, he, whenever him and I talked, he kind of had an idea about what was going on internally with me and why I wasn't losing weight. Um, and it's actually something that I had in my head that I had mentioned to my old coach. Um, so I hadn't even mentioned anything to my new coach about what I personally thought was going on. I just kind of told him like, we've been in this prep for 2022 20, weeks now and like my lower half just isn't losing weight and like I think my metabolism has slowed down and we're talking to my new coach basically he had said some things that I already had in my head and things that I expressed to my old coach but um essentially I had expressed to my new coach that like hey I've been in prep for this amount of time um for some reason, my lower body just isn't wanting to let go of the weight and it's just fighting and I've been having a hard time dropping weight. And my new coach essentially 
threw out a hunch as to what he thought was going on. And it's exactly the same thoughts that I had in my head as to what was going on. And I'll explain more about that probably later in this video because I went and got my blood work done probably about five days ago now, four or five days ago now. So I should be getting the results of that blood work here pretty soon within the next couple of days. And then I can kind of like explain um, what the issue might have been um, and how we're going to move forward and combat that issue. Um, now my new coach and I have talked about this and I am completely fine going into an off season if it is necessary. I've been in prep for a really long time at this point and I think my body is just tired and I've never put my body through this long of a prep before. So, you know, I let my new coach know that I will do whatever's necessary to be able to reach my goals. So based off of my blood work, we're going to make the well, really, he's going to make the decision if he thinks it's okay for me to keep going or if we need to take a step back and go into like a shorter off season, not a very long off season, but just a shorter off season to kind of get things back moving. And that way he can help progress me to where I want to be. Things kind of just lined up the way that they did and they lined up really quickly. And me and my new coach just aligned on everything. And he has an amazing team, has a very good track record of handling athletes, especially female athletes. And I think that's very important because dealing with a female athlete, like we have a lot of hormones that we have to deal with, not necessarily that men don't. So I kind of just needed somebody who understands the female body and female hormones a little bit better because Sometimes I don't even fully understand what is going on internally and it's really hard to coach yourself and like try and understand everything. Now, I mean, I've, I've out of five years of me coaching myself, I've learned a lot about my body and like I know what certain foods and things like that don't work well with it and like certain things that bloat me and all that. But of course, as you age, your body can also change and then certain things that didn't bloat you before could bloat you now. So like... It's always just keeping data and track of things that are going on. And I think my new coach has a really good idea of what we're gonna do and how we're going to achieve things. And I think it's very obtainable. And he hasn't made me any promises, um, which I do appreciate that. We're kind of just taking things one step at a time. And if I'm able to compete this year, then let's go. And then if not, then I'm really not going to be that upset about it because I know my time will come. And I know when that time comes, I will absolutely be ready. And, um, you know, as hard as it is to, like, leave a coach that you've been with for a long time, I just think if you aren't aligning anymore, um, you know, com certain conversations should be had, of course, but at the end of the day, you have to be able to make a decision that's right for you and that fits you and your goals. And sometimes those decisions can be really hard and it was for me, but, um, you know, I think now I'm in a much better mental space um, I'm much more at peace and that's why I'm talking about it now because for a few days it was pretty difficult for me trying to decide what I wanted to do, if I even wanted to compete anymore, if, you know, there's all these like ifs of like, what do I need to do? Like, is this not right for me? Is it right for me? Should I stick it out or should I, you know, all of the things. And so... It was a decision I made for myself because I have really big goals and really big dreams. And I feel like I would be doing myself a disservice if I didn't at least see it through, especially after putting this much work into it. So there were some changes obviously made and I think they're good changes and I think there are very good things to come. I can just feel it. I can just... 
I can feel it. <laughs> um, I'm actually reading a book right now called The Power of One More. And essentially the book talks about, you know, you're one more decision away from reaching your goals. You're one more, you know, if we're gonna talk about it in like fitness terms, one more rep away, one more minute away in cardio from obtaining your goals. And it's just more so about having to make those decisions to be able to get closer to your goals. And I feel like this was a door that opened for me. And it was like that one decision I needed to make to like get closer to where I wanna be, to get closer to actually competing, to get closer to being an overall winner, to get closer to being nationally qualified and to get one step closer to becoming a pro. And so far, like everything has been really good. I don't even think I mentioned, but my new coach is local, which is really nice because um, if there's anything, like if I want to train with him, I can ask him and get in a training session, um, which I'm sure eventually in the future, y'all will see him on my YouTube channel, we'll probably get in a training session together because I love being pushed by a trainer because I push myself really hard, but it's different when somebody else is pushing you. Um, it's just like that vibe of like somebody being like, yeah, I got another rep, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I'm sure one day that collaboration will happen um, as long as he's okay with that, of course. But um, all in all, the team is great. Everybody is insanely supportive, really, really welcoming. Um, he's got a lot of really great people on his team. And so it has been a very, very good not only mental move for me, but um, I guess like physical move in a way, if that makes sense. Words are hard right now, I'm kind of tired. With that, he ended up changing my plan a little bit for this week. Um, he wanted to bump my calories and he wanted to bump up my calories for this week until we get my blood work back and then we didn't make a decision on what we're gonna do. So um, I have a little bit more calories this week, which is so nice because it's it's good. I've been enjoying everything on my meal plan. And then he also did change up my workout plan, which for the past couple days, I've been doing his split. And I was looking at it and I was like, huh, this seems like it's gonna be a little bit easier. And then I realized <laughs> It's not, it's really not. It's it's different. It's a different way of training than I was training previously. Um, and it's actually like, I'm sweating. I'm sweating through these workouts and a lot of times I don't sweat. So I, um, I'm impressed with that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, he's given me back like my sugar-free stuff, my um, energy drinks um, in moderation, of course, like I'm not going crazy with that, but really I'm doing what I did before, which is having one energy drink in the morning and having a zero sugar soda for dinner. And then I drink water through the rest of the day. Or sometimes in the morning, instead of an energy drink, I'll do my cold brew coffee with a Truvia. Um, and then I'll use like half a Truvia for oatmeal and stuff like that. So I do get my sugar-free stuff back. I do get my sauces back, but um, just not like going overboard with those things because my body obviously hasn't been used to it for a couple months. It's been very refreshing to kind of feel more normal in a way, which I know sounds weird because like the foods that I'm eating are still very healthy. They're still very clean, but it's just things that I haven't had in months. And so even though they're like healthy food items, they're healthy food items that I wasn't able to have. So it's just... It's really, really good. I'm mentally so much better. I'm enjoying everything that I'm eating. And I also get my pre-workout back. And so I've been taking pre-workout for the past couple of days and it has been awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't realize that I missed it like that until I started taking it again. And um, it's good. So anyways, wanted to let y'all know what was going on. I know it's been a while and it's not normal for me to not post on YouTube especially. Um, but of course, follow me on Instagram. I'll link it here because I do post more updates on Instagram than I do on YouTube. I'm more active on that. So a lot of you may have already assumed this information if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but you know, wanted to make sure I put this on YouTube for my YouTube family as well. And um, 
you know, we're just gonna keep moving forward. There's, I've worked so hard to get to this point. There's no reason to quit. And I think sometimes you just have to find the right people. You just have to find the right circle of people that are going to push you, that are going to support you, and that are really going to make your dreams a reality. And sometimes it takes a little bit of trial and error to get there, but eventually things work themselves out the way that they're supposed to. And I truly, deep down inside, feel like this is where I'm supposed to be and this is where I'm meant to be. So I'm really excited to be working with this coach. I'm really excited to see what he can do. And we're just gonna follow all of the protocols and everything that he says and just go full speed ahead. So the next video um, will be out soon. Um, I'll loop y'all in on everything that's going on and what decisions are going to be made and all that good stuff. And I'm really excited to bring y'all along on this new journey. I think it's gonna be amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all your comments, all your love, all your support. Trust me, it makes me just love doing this. It makes me love being on YouTube and sharing my life with you guys. And I'm so thankful for every single one of you. And always remember, and remember guys, to live every moment. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.